The Java server pages and servlets are Java application programs that run from inside a container on the server. The web server communicates its request to this container. The container runs the appropriate JSP or servlet, then returns the produced web page to the server. This software is known as the servlet and JSP container or the servlet and JSP engine. It makes sense that the two run in the same container. They are very much the same thing, but they are written very differently. I'll have much to say about that later. The J2EE specifies just how a servlet and a JSP are to be run inside the container and how the container is to interact with the web server. There are different containers that work with different web servers, but the JSP and servlet software is portable from one to the other because of the Java standard and the internal container standard. This course will be using the reference implementation of the container to show you how the JSPs and servlets are written and deployed and work. The reference implementation is the one that you'll get when you download the J2EE package from Sun. The reference implementation is also known as Tomcat. Tomcat is the container that's developed as part of the Apache project, and Apache being the runaway number one web server makes Tomcat a very popular container. Another very popular container is WebLogic. This is a commercial product but there is a free version of it if you want to download it and try it. One very attractive aspect of this container is the servlet and JSP development system that comes along with it. The Java 2 Standard Edition contains all the classes of standard Java and these class files must be made available to the Java server pages and the Java servlets. The latest version of J2EE includes the J2SE as part of its download and installation procedure. You can download and install it separately if you prefer and including all this stuff in one package does make for a large download but I like to get them all in a single package so I know I've got the stuff that all plays together well. I'll show you downloading and installing the whole thing, but how you actually do that is up to you. The J2SE contains the Java compiler and everything that you need to develop Java programs. It also contains the J2RE. The J2RE is the Java Runtime Edition. The container must have access to this because it's where all the runtime classes are contained. You probably will not need to download this separately because it always comes as a part of the J2SE. You only need to download the J2RE when you're setting up a computer with a runtime only environment. So if you're going to be using a separate server that is never used for software development, you may need to install only the server, the container, and the J2RE. I'm going to go through the installation procedure in the next lesson.